Shalom for His grace upon each one of our lives. We welcome you all in Jesus' name to hear the word of God from the throne of grace. As India is celebrating 75th Independence Day, let us pray for India and bless India. Shall we pray? Father Jehovah, we come to you through the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for loving us so much. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace upon each one of our lives. Thank you, dear Holy Spirit of God, for your continual help and guidance. We thank you for the gift of salvation, gift of Holy Spirit, gift of love, gift of grace in each one of our lives. We remember India as India is celebrating 75th Independence Day, O oh Father God. We thank you for the freedom that India is enjoying. We thank you for helping India to receive your grace, your love, and the gift of salvation in the name of Jesus. We pray for the President of India. We pray for the Prime Minister of India. We pray for the Central Ministers. We pray for the State Ministers. We pray for the Governors. We pray for the Chief Ministers. We pray for the Collectors. We pray for the authorities who are there in India, from Delhi to the village, O oh Father God. We remember all the government authorities in every department and we remember the people of India and we bless them with the word of salvation. Thank you, dear Holy Spirit of God, for helping them to know the truth so that truth shall set them free. We bless people of India with the word of salvation. We bless them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, dear Holy Spirit of God, for your help and guidance. We bless every church, every saint, and every servant of God in Jesus' name. Thank you for helping them to receive your grace, your love, and the truth in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we agree and we pray. Amen. Dear saints and servants of God, Lord Jesus loves you. We love you. Dear saints and servants of God, as India is celebrating 75th Independence Day, let me tell you the truth from the word of God. Freedom through the blood shed. India received the freedom. What do you call India's freedom? What does Bible say about India's freedom? India's freedom is called political freedom. Dear saints and servants of God. Bible says if anyone is in sin, is a slave to sin, they need the freedom. How about the people of India? People of India needs the freedom. They were bound. Many millions of people in India are perishing without the love of God, without the grace of God, without the gift of salvation. What you and I need to do as a child of God, as a believer in Christ Jesus, you and I need to pray for the unbelievers, you and I need to pray for India. India needs to know the grace of God. India needs to know the love of God. India needs to know the truth. When they come to know the truth, truth shall set them free. Praise be to Jesus. Word of God says in the book of John the Gospel, chapter 8, verse 36. When Son of Man sets you free, you are free indeed. Pray Jesus. Today, from Delhi to the village, India is celebrating the political freedom. India received the freedom. The British ruled India for more than 200 years. The East India Company, the British ruled the Indian people and the land India for 200 years. And they left India and they gave them the political freedom. They divided India into many parts, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Nepal, India. They all were together once upon a time. But today, they are independent countries. They were divided and given freedom to, re to rule by themselves, by the British. So India is celebrating Independence Day. They have a political freedom, but they do not have a freedom in Christ. As a church, you and I need to pray for the governments. You and I need to pray for the authorities. As the word of God says, 
Paul's first letter to Timothy, chapter 2, verses 1 to 5, he says, First of all, pray for the kings, rulers, authorities, and the people, so that you will have a peace, you will have a love, you will have a prosperity. Do you want to see the nation to be prosperous? How does prosperity come? When there is a sin, sin blocks the prosperity, dear saints and servants of God. Where there is a sin, there is a demon. Where there is a sin, there is a Satan. What is in India? What is in this world? Sin is in this world. Satan is in this world. John's first letter, chapter 5, verses 18 and 19 says, The whole world is ruled by the God of this age. In simple words, Satan is ruling the whole world in this sinful world. They need the freedom. They were bound. The spiritual eyes were bound by the spirit of darkness. That's what Word of God says in Paul's second letter, chapter 4, verse 4. The spiritual eyes were bound by the spirit of Satan, by the spirit of darkness. So they do not know the truth. That's why they are living in this world. They do all kinds of illegal activities. They are saints and servants of God. Lord Jesus says, when he was here on this planet earth to the Jewish community. John chapter 8 verse 31. When you know the truth, truth shall set you free. And the Jewish people came to Lord Jesus and said, We are the children of Abraham. Do you know who we are? We are the children of Abraham. We worship living God. They have a Jewish pride, Lord Jesus says, when you are in sin, you are a slave to sin. Son of man sets you free. You and I need the freedom, freedom from sin, freedom from hell. Dear saints and servants of God, who will give you the freedom? If anyone is in Christ, is a new creation. Praise be to Jesus. Christ Jesus gives us the total freedom. You are a spirit. You have a soul. You live in a body. People in this world have a political freedom. India has a political freedom. But India is in sin. Thousands, millions are perishing without Jesus. They need the grace of God. They need the love of God. They need to experience the power of God. As a church, what you and I need to do? Pray for India's salvation. Pray for India's redemption. They are saints and servants of God. Lord Jesus loves you. By his grace, you and I receive the gift of salvation. Salvation is free. Praise be to Jesus. Lord Jesus is the mediator between God and man. Dear saints and servants of God. Freedom through the bloodshed. India received the freedom, political freedom, through the bloodshed. Millions of people died for the freedom of India. Political freedom of India. Dear saints and servants of God. But think about the spirit life. You are a spirit, you have a soul, you live in a body. People of India need the freedom from their spirits. They need the freedom for their spiritual life. They need the freedom from sin. They need the freedom from Satan. They need the freedom from the tradition, culture and the world. Satan is ruling in this sinful world. Dear saints and servants of God. People are enjoying in sin. In this world, as a church, you and I need to pray for them. That's what the word of God says. Paul's second letter to Timothy. Paul's letters to Timothy. Pray 
for the kings rulers authorities and the people so that you will have a peace you will have a prosperity you will have a blessing of god praise be to jesus dear saints and servants of god lord has given us a grace upon each one of us we receive the gift of salvation through his grace through the grace of lord jesus we do not earn the salvation by our own efforts man cannot buy the gift of salvation deeds will not help us to receive the gift of salvation the book of ephesians chapter 2 verse 7 8 9 say we receive the salvation we are saved by his grace through our faith not by our deeds praise be to jesus lord jesus loves you and i he loves every human being he loves india lord jesus loves india that's the reason lord jesus died for every human being on the cross of calvary christ jesus shed his blood on the cross to save mankind man is born with sin we are saints and servants of god the book of roman chapter 3 verse 9 10 11 says there is no righteous on this planet earth everyone is born with sin people live in sin satan is ruling the world in this sinful world who is the ruler of your spirit who is the ruler of your life christ jesus is the ruler christ jesus is the lord of my life we are saints and servants of god jesus has to be the lord of our lives jesus is the shepherd of my soul jesus christ of nazareth died for you and i on the cross of calvary christ jesus rose again after 3 days jesus christ of nazareth is the way truth and life there is no other way to go to heaven jesus is the way lord jesus says in the in the book of john john the gospel chapter 14 verse 6 i am the way i am the truth i am the life praise be to jesus lord jesus showed us the best example to follow people follow the world people follow the political leaders people follow the people of this world people have a heroes in this world political heroes india is celebrating independence day they are remembering the freedom fighters uh, sacrifice we are saints and servants of god thank god for the political freedom but let me tell you the truth is there a freedom for your spirit is there a freedom from the sin is there a freedom for your spiritual life you and i have received the grace of god lord jesus loves you he has a great plan for you and i dear saints and servants of god india needs to know the truth india needs to know the love of god india needs to know the grace of god india needs to know the power of god any power any person who is in authority cannot destroy the body of christ the church any authority any power in india or in any country cannot destroy the body of christ cannot destroy the church what is church church means ecclesia in greek what does it mean church means called out believers of christ jesus you and i are called church church responsibility is to pray church responsibility is to proclaim and declare the love of christ what jesus has done on the cross of calvary christ jesus is the way truth and life church responsibility is to pray for the people of india for the people of every nation dear saints and servants of god lord jesus loves you he has a great plan for you and me Lord Jesus coming is delayed because the gospel has to be reached to all the nations in the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 14 Christ will come when the gospel has been preached to all the nations all the 
tribes, all the tongues, all the territories. Praise Jesus. He says in the book of Revelation chapter 22, verse 7, Behold, I'm coming soon. Blessed is he who keeps the words of the prophecy in this book. Lord Jesus is coming again. Dear saints and servants of God, what you and I need to do, you and I need to receive the love of God. You and I need to receive the burden for the perishing souls. You and I need to go into all the world, proclaim and declare that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the Lord. Proclaim and declare the love of Christ. Proclaim and declare what Jesus has done on the cross of Calvary. Cry Jesus died on the cross and rose again after three days. Jesus is the risen savior of you and I. He is the risen savior of the whole universe. We are saints and servants of God. Do not be afraid. Do not worry. Do not worry about your challenges that you are facing today. Come to the throne of grace. The book of Hebrew chapter 4 verse 16 says, Come to the throne of grace in the time of need to receive the strength, to receive the ability, to receive the power of God, to receive the help to be a powerful vessel for the kingdom of Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus loves you. Dear saints and servants of God, India is remembering the freedom fighters sacrifice. I want you to remember what Jesus has done on the cross of Calvary. I want you to remember the disciples sacrifice, the missionary sacrifice in every country. I want you to remember Apostle Thomas, Apostle Thomas who had come to India and gave his life for the sake of Indians, for the sake of Christ. Because Christ, because of Lord Jesus love, because of Lord Jesus grace today, you and I have received the grace of God. You and I have received the gift of salvation. Dear saints and servants of God. Paul's letter to Corinthians. Second book of Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 and 18. Where there is a spirit of God, there is a freedom. Spirit of the Lord is going to help you and I. To enter into the sinful world. To speak about Jesus. The book of Mark. The gospel of Mark chapter 16 verse 15. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. Praise be to Jesus. Do not be afraid. Do not worry. People are enjoying. People have everything in this world. They have a money. They have power. They have political power, they have a job, they have a responsibility, they have money, they have things of this world. But what do, do, do not have? What do they not have? They did not have. They do not have the love of Christ. They do not have the gift of salvation. We are saints and servants of God. Let us pray with the heart. Let us pray with the help of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray with the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us go with the love of Christ. Let us proclaim and declare the love of Christ to all the nations. Lord Jesus is coming again. Dear saints and servants of God. First book of Corinthians chapter 15 verse 57 says, Thanks be to Father Jehovah who gives us the victory. Victory belongs to Lord Jesus because Christ Jesus won the battle on the cross of Calvary. Lord Jesus says in the book of John, the gospel chapter 16, verse 33. In me you will have peace, but in this world there is a persecution. Do not be afraid. I have overcome the world. Praise Jesus. Lord Jesus won the battle on the cross of Calvary. Lord Jesus says to his disciples, do not worry, do not be afraid. I have overcome the world. In me you will have peace. Where do you find peace? In this world there is no peace. Because sin is there. Where there is a sin there is no peace. Where there is a sin there is a fear. Where there is a sin there is a demon. Where there is a sin there is a disturbance. There is a division. People come together for unity. 
Nations are coming together for unity. Peace agreement. How can they have peace agreement? How can they bring the peace among the nations, among the people? Without Jesus, in Jesus, you will find peace. Wherever Lord Jesus is there, there is a peace. The book of Isaiah chapter 42 verse 22. There is no peace for the wicked, the saints and servants of God. In Lord Jesus Christ, you and I shall find the peace. Christ Jesus shed his blood on the cross to reconcile man with God the Father. The blood of Jesus brings the peace of God into our lives. We receive the peace of God. We receive the peace of mind. We receive the peace with one another through the blood of Jesus. First book of John chapter 1. First letter of John chapter 1 verse 7. The blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sins. Praise be to Jesus. He loves you. We are saints and servants of God. Do not worry about your challenges. Do not worry about your problems that you are facing. Come to the throne of grace. Receive the help from the throne of grace. The Spirit of the Lord wants to help you and I. He dwells in us forever. Praise be to Jesus. He is our helper. He will help you to go to the nations. To proclaim and declare that Jesus is son of God. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the savior. Jesus is Lord. Shall we pray? Let us pray for the nations. Let us pray for India. Father Jehovah, we come to you through the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for loving us so much. Thank you for the gift of salvation. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of Holy Spirit in our lives. Thank you for choosing us, appointing us, anointing us to bear much fruit for your kingdom to be established. We thank you, dear Jesus, for what you have done on the cross of Calvary. Lord Jesus, we ask forgiveness for our sins. We ask forgiveness for the sins of India. We ask forgiveness for the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. I'm a sinner. Say after me, Lord, I'm a sinner. Please forgive me. Welcome Jesus into your heart. Lord Jesus, I welcome you into my heart as my Lord, as my personal savior. Jesus, you are the Lord of my life. Say after me, Jesus, you are the Lord of my life. Jesus, you are the Lord of my future. Thank you for your precious blood that you shed on the cross. I believe in my heart Jesus died on the cross and rose again after three days. Thank you, dear Holy Spirit of God, for your help and guidance. We thank you for your children who are listening to the word of God. Every fear, every sickness, every weakness, every disturbance, every depression. We command you in the name of Jesus to leave the people of God in Jesus' name. I declare you are free in Jesus' name. I release the healing. By the wounds of Lord Jesus, you are healed. I declare you are free in Jesus. I bless your people in Jesus' name. Thank you, dear Holy Spirit of God, for helping your children to receive your love, your power, to witness Christ in all nations. In Jesus' name, we agree and we pray. Amen. Shalom. Lord Jesus loves you. Send us your prayer requests. We are here to pray for you. God bless you. Shalom.